This time we're going to try a couple of large examples. Work through the entire problem and just see how it works, even in random cases. So I'll start with a number. And I will divide this binary number by this binary number. So I have a 5-bit binary number here, which means I need at least 5 bits before I can start doing any subtraction. It turns out that this binary number matches up nicely with this one, so I will write that one down, do my subtraction, pull down a 0, 1, and I'll continue pulling down bits until I get at least 5 bits down at the bottom. So this 5-bit binary number is still larger than this one, so I need to bring down at least one more bit. Now I have a 5-bit binary number and a 6-bit binary number. The 6-bit binary number is obviously larger than the 5-bit binary number, so now I can do the subtraction again. pull down my next bit, and again I've got a 6-bit binary number, so I know I can do my subtraction. And 100 minus 11 is 1. Now I have a 4-bit binary number, I'll pull down 1, 0, this 5-bit binary number is still larger than this 5-bit binary number, so I'll need to pull down another bit, and then I can do my subtraction again. This time I need to do lots of borrowing. And then I've got one more 1 that I can pull down. If I do this subtraction, I'll end up with something small, but I'll have some remainder. I could continue doing this, just adding in a binary point and continuing to pull down zeros as long as I'd like. In this case, I've run out of space, so I think I'll stop here but this number would have several floating point bits behind it. You could try a slightly smaller example. There's another example that will probably not work out precisely. Here I've got a 4-bit binary number that will go into this 4-bit binary number. So I can do the subtraction starting at this point. Now I need to pull down bits until I've got at least 4. But this 4-bit binary number is smaller than this 4-bit binary number, so I'll pull down another bit. Now I have a 5-bit binary number, which is certainly larger than my 4-bit binary number. Since I did the subtraction, I write down a 1 again. Pull down another 1. Now I can do my subtraction again. And here again I'll have lots of borrowing to do.
Now I can pull down this zero. I've got a 4-bit binary number, which is larger than this 4-bit binary number. So I'll do my subtraction again and write down a 1. I'll pull down a 0. Now this 4-bit binary number is smaller than this one. So I'll write down a 0 and pull down another bit. And I'd have one more one I can pull down. I can certainly do the subtraction. That would leave me with 101 one afterwards. And then I could pull down another one bit. That would actually divide out cleanly, and I'd get a point 0.1 there with no remainder. So in this case, the result ends up kind of nice, ran out of space at the end, but the last little bit wasn't too hard to do. So this would be the result for this division problem.